Hello everybody, um, this is Logan B, and, um, this is an update video, um, so let's get started. Here I am, as you can see, I've got a haircut, completely gone the length, um, except for up here, so that's a thing, it's pretty big, um, there's a Cineplex solo a Star Wars Story magazine down there. Pretty neat. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, I'm gonna have to unplug my phone. So we went to Calgary Comic Con about almost a month ago, and we met Stephen Ogg and got his autograph. Neato. Let's see. We got this Thanos pop here, which is sick. We got a Dwight figure. We got the punk rock zombie too. We just don't have them set up. For the three and three quarter inch figures for an update, we've got um can't even remember this guy's name, um uh, Baze. Yeah, Baze. Um the two pack with him and the stormtrooper. Uh in this Lego bag is like all my other three and three quarter inch um force link and just the older three and three quarter inch figures. Except for the ones that you see there. Um, let's see. I got the Black Series Lando and Admiral Akbar. Um, I won a giveaway on Facebook and I got that Negan. So that was awesome. But this is my current setup up here. Which I think looks very cool. But that, that Stephen Ogg is that autograph. It's just great. But now, on to Infinity War stuff. Um, well, besides Thanos, of course. We are working on a mock. And it's not exactly a mock. It's more of a diorama. Because, um... We... Well, it's... This is the thing, is we're using stuff from existing sets, set, uh, bleh, sets, except for that Bucky custom, until we get the official Bucky minifigure, um, and the official War Machine from the, um, from the figure pack. This is how it's gonna look. So, we got the Wall of Wakanda set the, I can't even remember what it's called, the Corvus Glaive Thresher attack. We got that, um, when we saw the movie a couple weeks ago. And we just got the, uh, Hulkbuster Smash Up set yesterday. And I put the cannon thing from the Smash Up set there because it looks better there than with them because it wasn't even in the movie anyway. And the color scheme matches the Wakanda kind of colors, but you see, you know, we got Rocket, Falcon, Thor, Groot, the Age of Ultron Scarlet Witch, because I don't have the Civil War Scarlet Witch, Black Widow, Okoye, Cap, Black Panther, Custom Bucky, down there, there's Vision, and Shuri, um, and of course, you open up the Hulkbuster, there's Bruce in there. And Proxima Midnight, Corvus Glaive, and the Outriders. So yeah, I did get the Black Panther set. So what it's gonna be is or not the Black Panther set, there's two of them. I got the Rhino Face Off set, which will actually be part of the mock. Or diorama, whatever you want to call it. What it's gonna be, we're gonna take this TV out, and we're gonna set up a shelf here of some sort and on the shelf we're gonna get this big tan base plate that's 10 bucks at Walmart Canadian um, and we're gonna put all this on it and then add shrubbery and other tree pieces that I've got in my basement in my um, big uh, Lego bin um, and make the Battle of Wakanda. And, um, 
<sighs> I think this that's all the sets for the Wakanda battle, except for that two pack. Or not the two pack, the four pack with um uh War Machine, Wong, Tony Stark, and Bucky. Obviously just War Machine and Bucky will be used for this scene. We'll probably also make a battle on Titan um mock as well. But anyway, uh that's all for this video guys. Um thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Oh also I'm seeing solo tomorrow, which is pretty cool. I'll probably put a review of it on my YouTube channel tomorrow. Okay, well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.